Have you ever felt like uh, the world has completely become consumed by greed and by, by selfishness? Well, if you have, you've come to the right place because today we're going to talk about compassion and care. Hi, my name is Christopher Thompson and welcome to The Experience where we, we reflect on the words and the work of Jesus and their transformative power over our lives. Today, we're talking about a story that is well-known and well-loved um, from the book of Mark. As a matter of fact, all the gospels talk about it. It is the story of the feeding of the 5,000, where Jesus fed 5,000 people, not counting men, women and children, with five loaves of bread and two fish. I want to read uh, the passage from, from Mark, and uh, I want you to read along with me. It's Mark chapter 6 and verse 32. Um, Bible says, So themselves in a boat to a solitary place, but many who saw them leaving them recognized and ran on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of them. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching things. By this time, it was late in the day, so his disciples came to him. This is a remote place, they said, and it's already very late send the people away so that they can go to the surrounding countryside and villages and buy themselves something to eat. But he answered, you give them something to eat. And they said to him, that would take more than a half year's wages. Are we to go and spend that much on bread and give it to them to eat? How many loaves do you have? He asked, go and see. And when they found out, they said five and two fish. Then Jesus directed them to have all the people sit down in groups on the grass. And so they sat down in the groups of hundreds and fifties and taking the, the five loaves and the two fish, looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to his disciples to distribute to the people. He also divided the two fish among them all. And they all ate and were satisfied. And the disciples picked up 12 baskets full of the broken pieces of bread and fish the number of men who had eaten was 5,000. I love this text, right? And here today I'm sitting on my, my red thinking chair uh, because it's the place where I do some of my best thinking. And, and the, 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 the book Desire of Ages says that we should spend at least an hour every day reflecting on the life of Christ. And so even though you've read this story before, I'm sure, I want us to think a little bit deeper, reflect a little bit deeper on, on what it means, right? Um, and, and, and I believe that there are some principles in this story that, that can truly transform our lives. I want us to look again at verse 34, where it says, when Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion. Because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. We could talk about this, this, this story for a very long time, right? Uh, I believe that it's it's powerful for a number of reasons, but but this first this first part of the story where Jesus is being bombarded with, with people, this is the portion of Jesus' ministry where he's like wildly famous, if you will. That, he has he he has this amassed this wild following that everywhere he goes, people follow him and people want to touch him and people want to meet him and they they want to hear what he's going to say, they want to see what he's going to do next. And so here he is in one of those occasions where the people are following. They see where the disciples are going, and so they are running and following the disciples. And the disciples get on the boat, so they get on the boat. And the Bible says that that Jesus, if you read the beginning of the, the, the story, it, that, that the people were trying to get to the disciples while the disciples were trying to find a solitary place to rest and to recharge. 
Jesus had sent them away on a missionary journey. So they were returning and needing to have some kind of debriefing time with Jesus. And so Jesus is trying to get them off towards a retreat. But when the people see Jesus and the disciples moving, they're following them. It's a big crowd of people. The Bible says that there were 500. You notice at the end of the story, it says there were 5,000 people not counting the women and children. So uh, many scholars estimate that it's easily 20,000 people, right? All these people are following after Jesus and trying to hear what he's going to say and trying to see what he's going to do next. The Bible says that when Jesus saw the people, he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And I think about our world today that people seem so self-absorbed and self-consumed. They seem so greedy and so hateful at times. It, It seems that our world is just consumed with hate. Uh, Every time you turn on the news, somebody is somewhere spouting off some hateful rhetoric, some toxic rhetoric. And and so it seems like the world is consumed with hate and avarice and greed and selfishness. But when Jesus saw the people, the Bible says that Jesus had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And so he taught them many things. That always really inspires me that Jesus, number one, he saw the people. And I love that about Jesus. I, I, I think it's hard to read the scripture and not get the impression that Jesus is about people. Jesus was for the people. You know, our, our uh, Declaration of Independence is by the people, for the people. Um, at least I think that was the Declaration of Independence. The point is that democracy is about the people. And Jesus um was for the people the bible says he saw the people and he had compassion on them i remember there's an old song that says god loves people more than anything more than anything he wants you to know he'd rather die than let you go because god loves people more than anything jesus saw the people and he had compassion on them i always love that part where it says that he had compassion on them you know that jesus could see their suffering. Jesus could see their pain. Jesus could see their struggle. Jesus could see their heartache. And I guess that's a word for us, that Jesus sees us. Jesus loves the people. He loves us. Jesus sees our struggle. He sees our pain. He sees our stress. He sees our heartache. He sees all the difficult things that we deal with. And when Jesus saw the people that day, he saw them and he saw their needs and he felt with them. That's what compassion means, right? It means to to feel with someone, to to feel with their hurts, to to be able to relate to their their pain, to be able to relate and, and, and respond to their struggle. The Bible says, Jesus saw the people. He had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. Um, that part, whenever I read that part, I think about how Jesus is the good shepherd. Jesus calls himself, he he called himself the good shepherd, um, that it is his responsibility to care for the sheep. And the concept when we think about sheep is that sheep are, they can be very ornery. Um, they're quite uh, um, ornery at times and, and they n- nip at each other and they um, are, are um, antagonistic at times, but they're also quite harmless, right? They're very, they're, they're harmless. They're not, they're not predators, <laughs> they're prey. And so I, I think it speaks to our experience that, you know, we're all just, we're just trying to get by. We just, you know, you, you see sheep, they're concerned with one thing and that's nourishing themselves. They're, they, they're, they want something to eat. And so, Jesus sees us like his sheep that need to be cared for, that, that we have our ways, but, but we need leadership and we need care. And so he sees the people as sheep without a shepherd. And so his heart went out to them. And I think that in this world today, we need to be reminded that we need to care for people. We need to be compassionate toward people. You know, there's a saying, uh, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And if we care like Jesus cared, if we have compassion like Jesus has compassion, 
then I believe that um, that's transformative, you know? Well, listen, we can't stay here all day. Um, I do want you to come and join us this same time next week, every week, where we will talk and think about Jesus and the words and the work of Jesus, because I believe that it's transformative. They are transformative. And, and remember, when you have an experience with Jesus, uh, your life will be transformed and you will never be the same ever again. God bless you. See you next week.